Stella Lisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is for you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you are returning, as always, thank you so, so much for your continued support. Uh, I really enjoy making videos for you guys and interacting with you in the comments and over in my Facebook group, DAC Fans Canada. I can't say enough how thankful I am for all of you because I've recently surpassed my uh, latest channel milestone, which was re reaching 2000 subscribers. And um, I'm so happy that we continue to have new people join us every day. I have an unboxing here for you guys. Now, I honestly have been discombobulated this past week. I've been in so much pain that um, if, if you are anyone who experiences painful conditions, you know uh, of a term called pain brain. And that's exactly the right words to describe it. When you're in so much pain, your brain is so foggy and so slow that you just, you know, you could sit there and stare at the wall for five minutes and still not remember why you got up. <laughs> so uh, that's how I've been feeling. Now, I did purchase one of Diamond Art Club's mystery boxes. It's the first time I've ever purchased a mystery box from them because I am usually very picky in what I like to diamond paint. And I like knowing what I'm going to get. Even for mystery kits, I'm the one that's usually over in the mystery Facebook group uh, trying to find out what the image is if I want to, you know, fork out my money for it if I think I'm going to work on it. But I don't know. My gut said get a mystery box this time. So I did. And actually, I had my mom order it because she uh, also shops at Diamond Art Club. And I didn't think I'd be able to stay up to the midnight release. So I... Actually, you know what? I don't even know if it was a midnight release. Wasn't it a 9 p.m. release, Pacific Standard Time? I can't remember now. Anyways, uh, honestly, guys, I'm usually in bed way before 9 o'clock. I know it's ridiculous. But again, that's what happens when you're sick and in pain all the time. Anyways, enough of that. So I did purchase a mystery kit. We, we got three kits. And I'm going to pop the image of the three on the screen because I actually only have one with me. I let mom keep the first two because the first two were both in rounds. And I actually already have the uh, purple and pink dragon that you're going to be seeing on the screen. Um, the other one is a Hannah Lynn. I enjoy looking at her artwork. It's not something that, like, I'm not a Hannah Lynn collector. So I thought... That would be a good kit for mom to do for Christmas. And then the other one is a big square kit. And I know she's not as fond of squares. I don't know. Some of you guys might squeal when you see the image I'm about to show you. Because I feel like aside from the Hannah Lynn kits, this is one of the most popular diamond paintings of the mystery Christmas mystery box of 2023. Let's just get into it. You can tell here the blue uh, branding is a square. You can see here the square um, diamond. And here it is, try to follow by color out of place. This is a square diamond painting measuring 65 centimeters by 87 centimeters. Now, a bit of a disclaimer. I actually, again, going back to being discombobulated, I actually, when mom brought this over, I had opened it up. I had taken the sticker sheet out. I have the sticker sheet here because I'm actually working on uh, a new way to store these things and which I will show you guys in the future. And I also put the little sticker on the end of the box. So it's going to look like this has already had some wear and tear. But that's just because uh, I struggled with nerve damage and I ripped into this box. Um, but yes, small sticker is here. As you can see, it has everything on it. This is where I usually put that small sticker because I store these in my storage locker or uh, in my bedroom closet. And I like seeing what the image is right on the end of the box so I don't have to open it pull it out, flip it around, and find uh, the image here or inside the kit. So let me, um, I guess, I'm, I guess I'm going to treat this like a usual kind of sneaky peeky. Um, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, first off, welcome. They are my favorite diamond painting shop to diamond paint and work with. Uh, I absolutely love the quality of their kits and their customer service. If you are looking at making your very first purchase with them, I do have a code that you can use. It's my name, A-L-Y-S-A-1-5, and that's going to save you 15% off your very first order. Now, if you find a better discount code out there, but you still want to support me, in my description box, I have a link, and that will take you to their website, and I'll get a bit of recognition that way, and I appreciate it. 
As I said, this is the usual uh, diamond painting box. We've got all blue up here. If it was a round kit, we would see all pink. On the back, the usual stuff, how to diamond paint, what to expect, and the usual disclaimers. And then if you did not know, they do have a QR code on the side of the box to unlock 10%. You're gonna see discount codes everywhere. There are quite a few in this unboxing alone. Let's get into it. Uh, another disclaimer, it is a cold, rainy slash snowy day in my part of Canada, so it is darker even though I am filming in the early afternoon. So I do have that overhead light on. I may switch it off part way through here if it's giving us too much hassle. All we got is the diamond painting, you guys. I did take out the tool kits too. Uh, because I know that I'm keeping this one and I'm gonna work on it, I removed the tool kit. That way it's not squishing the diamond painting. I also uh, wanted to see what kind of cover minders there were. And I, I did put a few aside from my most recent hauls just to uh, keep on the side of my fridge. If you didn't know, Diamond Art Club is likely phasing them out sometime this year. I'm still seeing them in kits I'm getting, so um, as far as when that change will happen, I'm not quite sure, but let's take a look at this kit. I'm actually also waiting for DHL to uh, deliver more Diamond Art Club kits to me, so if I do pause the video, I have to buzz them in to where I live, so uh, bear with me if that does happen. <sighs> I am excited to show you guys this kit. I don't think I've seen anybody uh, share it yet on YouTube. As I said, it has, I think, become one of the most popular, most sought after diamond paintings, uh, almost of all time. No, I think that's a pretty bold statement, but of the mystery boxes, if you go to any de-stashing Facebook group, you will see a million requests a day uh, for this diamond painting. I had originally thought that it would be one that I would de-stash. It's not typically the kind of artwork that I go for. I am going to turn that light off. Hopefully the light from the window is enough. It is a bit darker on the right side, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, I had originally thought if I did get this one, it would be one I was de-stashing. And, uh, but I've changed my mind you guys I did post in my Facebook group the other day a question why is it so popular what do people see in this image and I love some of your all responses you guys uh, said that some of you said that you felt like it was uh, here's the bottom of the canvas you felt like you know down here it was all dark and dreary and then up here it's all bright and beautiful the meaning behind the image to you was that you are seeing you know kind of going from darkness to light which I talk about a lot and I'm surprised I didn't really see that initially. Again, it's just because it's not typical artwork that I do go for. And then other people said they felt it was almost like a stairway to heaven. And I thought that was beautiful as well. Let me see. So that's as far back as I can zoom it. So let me just uh, show you. Here's the top part. Lots of beautiful colors. We do have the usual, uh, I'll go over what I can. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. They're poked and scalloped edges. Their canvases are super high quality. When I finish a diamond painting, I actually will paint this border black and then I cut it down by half and I've never once had it fray. This painting actually also has the new perforated cover, which I'll show you in a minute. But look at uh, the printing, nice and clear. Lots of line blocking here. So you're, I'm gonna be able to use my multi-placer and that's my happy place. I love using a multi-placer. Uh, I dislike confetti when it's like single placing confetti, but if you have like in this kind of orange here, there's a little more color changes. Um, I call that kind of multi-placing confetti where you can use your three or four placer a lot. Then we've got some trees in this area here. Perhaps, I mean, we have all these clouds. This is in the sky, but I also thought maybe the blue was water because you have the trees here, right? So maybe it's a river or a creek. Going down here, here's the bottom of the canvas. So we got a lot of dark in the, in the bottom here. We're gonna have probably 310. Yeah, lots of 310 through here. And then again, dark going to light. I, I This image did grow on me and it did grow on me pretty quickly. Here is the thumbnail of the image down on the bottom left corner. Pasting area, first the area where the diamonds go or the glue is. The glue, I, I, I very rarely have a problem with their glue. Super, super sticky here. And I love that it barely goes over the outside edge. So I actually don't put washi tape down. You may see some people, especially on Facebook, post pictures with washi tape either on the plastic cover or around the entire perimeter. Around the entire perimeter, it's just to keep any sweater fuzz or pet hair out of that while you're diamond painting. But because Diamond Art Club cuts that glue really close, uh, I don't even bother anymore. 
it's more of a hassle for me to get the washi tape off and paint it than it is to uh, put it on in the first place. Name of the kit, try to follow uh, 65 by 87, copyright, color out of place in Diamond Art Club. So the copyright is pretty important. That means that this image was legally licensed from that artist, meaning that not only did they give their permission for the use of the image, but they're also being compensated for the use of it or otherwise uh, being paid. And that's really important in the crafting community and the diamond painting community, especially because there are tons of stolen artwork out there. That's another reason I love uh, working on Diamond Art Club canvases. Down here, we have another discount code. Take 10 for 10% off. Here are their business pages. Make sure you follow them there as well. Reminder over here, as long as you are the original purchaser, you do have a lifetime warranty. If you buy any Diamond Art Club in a D-Stash, that lifetime warranty is void for you. So uh, do remember that. And then down here is supports email. If you have any customer service questions at all, that is who you email. We have schematics on either side, but I'm gonna show you the sticker sheet. And I'm actually gonna pull the camera a little bit closer so I don't have to hyperextend my back. I'm also working with a new tripod today, which looks like it's working good, so that's nice. My other one was, um, because I've used it so much, the arm that actually holds my phone is flexible and it was getting too flexible on me, I'm moving. So I just got this one today. Anyway, that's not the purpose of the video. Try to follow by color out of place. I would recommend uh, if there is a new artist, uh, somebody you don't know, Diamond Art Club does a good job at giving them a brief uh, bio in on their website. You can, I believe it's author description or meet the author, I believe. I can't, you know what, I'm making that up. I don't know what it says, but somewhere in their listing for every single diamond painting, there's a button where you can learn more about the author. I like reading through that for new artists so I can get to know them a little bit better. And then uh, sometimes I will see if they're on other platforms and give them a follow there to show support. This is the sticker I do eventually cut out and I will put this picture in my paper logbook so I have a copy of it. All of these stickers will go on my containers or baggies when I kit up. This kit has 64 colors. I'm honestly surprised. Well, I guess there are five special drills. I was gonna say, I am surprised there's not more fairy dust. That's a very popular uh, special diamond these days, but of course this kit could have been produced a while ago. At the top here with Diamond Art Club, any number under 150 is going to be an AB diamond. So we have five of them. And as you can see, I love that they do the numbering correctly. One is one, two is two, three is three, four is four, five is five, even seven and eight down here. Sometimes they skip a number and use a symbol, but um, for all of the, the newer releases, you won't find the numbers jumbled up in here. Older ones, you might see that. It's really no biggie. You just have to be more careful when you're picking your diamonds. Lots of different colors in here. Their symbols are always easy to read. I have zero issues with them. And then down here, this is where Diamond Art Club will put any other special diamonds. We have a Z3837. Z means fairy dust, and we have one of them. As I said, I'm surprised there's not more, but this is totally a canvas. You could add some bling, some more sparkle up in the top, but it does have five A, or sorry, four ABs. So we'll see where they put those ABs in a minute once we open up those diamonds, but yeah. These stickers are individually cut. All you have to do is peel and stick onto your container or baggies and you are good to go. What I like doing a little tip is I actually photocopy this before I sit down and diamond paint and I keep it beside me. That way I have a paper legend and I don't have to fight with the canvas to see the entire legend. If you forget to do that and you do like the idea, you can always email support and see if they can send you the PDF copy of the diamond painting. We get this usual thank you brochure from the founder of the company. Inside we get some uh, information. We get a list of what to expect in this kit in a couple different languages. We get a QR code here. If you scan that, it will take you to Diamond Art Club's instructional video. I also have a bunch of instructional videos, including how to time and paint for beginners, how to work with squares, and how to multiplace. I will link those in the description box down below. You can also find those videos just by going to my tips and tricks playlist section on my YouTube channel. Down here, we have a QR code that will take you to the VIP Facebook group. That is a really good resource. I recommend you joining. You do have to have made your first purchase to join. So once you do that, uh, you can um, scan that QR code and join the group. 
Here we have step-by-step -step instructions in case you're new in a couple different languages. And on the back, a reminder, if you've never purchased through the app, you will get 20% off your first purchase. Now, diamonds, they come in this clear baggie here. They are always labeled. So if you do separate your canvas from your diamonds, you'll be able to pair them up again quite easily. Now I'm gonna take these out and fast forward through the crinkle. Holy moly diamonds, you guys. There are a lot of diamonds in this kit. And I can see a whole train of 310. So let's start here. Diamond Art Club separates their diamonds based on the weight. They are not in numerical order. Uh, so I just grab a strip and go. We have 966, 939, 3848. Diamond Art Club um, uses resin diamonds and they actually make them in-house now. So they have uh, high control over the quality and I can tell you they are looking amazing these days. They've got uh, 20 facets, meaning uh, lots of different angles for the light to bounce off of. It really makes the diamond sparkle and um, not a lot of trash, which I absolutely love. We have one bag of 3371 and here starts our train of 310. Anyone guess? or want to guess how many there are, we'll count them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of 310. And I can tell you most of that is all in the base of the canvas down here. I'm surprised that's eight bags. I bet you we're gonna have a bunch left over. That seems like a lot. Okay, we've got 498, 3849, 3808. 3815, 742, 3847. Lots of kind of greens and teals in here. There's actually two bags of that 3847 and 154. Did I say, I did say 154, right? Okay, so there's two bags of 154. The other one just uh, sits on another train here. 900, 3851, 3834. There are two bags of that. Then we have a 563, an 817, a 720, two bags of 815, 311, two bags of 814, 743, 912, 803, 301, 782, 3853, 3765. We haven't seen any ABs yet. These are smaller bags of diamonds, as you can see. We've got 783, 500, 3842, 400, and here is our first AB. You know, it's always funny. Um, I'm sure most of you have watched an unboxing from Mrs. Coffee. She's also a fellow creator and DAC sneak peeker. But every time I come to my first AB, I can hear her in my head going, making that weird noise she makes. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to copy it. I cannot make it, but it always makes me smile. Uh, one, three, two. So our first AB is an orange one there. Absolutely gorgeous. The coating on this is just so beautiful. Zero scratches, zero scuffs, no tabs. Absolutely lovely. We will see where it goes in a bit. Then we've got 772, 602, 304, 956, 3818. Another AB, a beautiful pink 111. 718 and 140 is another. Oh my gosh, look at the coating on that. You can't see it because they're all facing the wrong way. But that coating is just beautiful. You'll have to trust me. 959, 300, 3706, 744, 890, 129, which is another AB. It's a, a pale yellow one, a fairly common AB. And then here's our fairy dust. Oh my God, this is my favorite color. I love purple. I haven't seen this fairy dust yet. 3837, so fairy dust. This is actually a really good color to show the difference. So AB has this shiny coating and you can see depending on the way the light hits it all sorts of different colors shine right like the rainbow fairy dust is very different instead they have a shimmery powder on the top almost like eyeshadow or mica powder uh, i would not call it glitter though that's a, a term that is used to describe them sometimes but there actually are glitter drills that look a lot differently so these have a very shiny coating. If Diamond Art Club could figure out how to get these diamonds to flip over in these bags so we can show them, that would be actually a miracle. But look at that. Very beautiful. Those look gorgeous. I'm so happy they're in my favorite color too. So um, this one has a lot of special diamonds. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. I keep looking out my window for DHL because they're notorious for like 
buzzing and letting it ring once and then going away. I absolutely hate it. Anyway, 524 644 3708 895 552 336 647 987 746 3846 333 169 553 605 3346 and 963. I always worry about mispronouncing numbers if I am going fast. Uh, sometimes the numbers go backwards instead of 553. Five, I might say 535. Five. I hope I don't do that often anymore. I think it used to happen. Okay, why don't we start with this fairy dust? So beautiful purple fairy dust color. It is the L. So it's probably going to be in here. Yeah, I see a lot of it in the purple element in here. I see a few up here. Some going into here. But I'm just looking up top so I don't have to move the canvas if I don't have to. I'm not seeing it anywhere else. So those purple fairy dust are just in here and they kind of in this stream here. Next to it, we had that pale yellow AB 129. That's a number two. There's not a lot, so we are not going to, um, like it's not gonna be everywhere, but uh, Diamond Art Club does a good job about spreading out their, their special diamonds. So we have some down here, uh, number two is that pale yellow AB. I'm just looking, we've got a couple in here. I don't wanna miss any. I don't think I'm seeing, oh, a little bit in here. It is hard sometimes. This canvas is gonna be fun to work on because like I said, you can use your multi-placer even in these areas where there's a bit more color changes, you can still use a multi-placer. It's gonna be really fun to work on. 140, blue color. That is number four. I do see some starting over here, kind of going up here a little bit. Again, they do a good job of blending these colors really well. So we have a bunch of them in here, kind of going in here. And then, yeah, a bunch up in here as well, kind of outlining certain areas. What's next? 111 is this beautiful pink. I absolutely, this is probably one of my favorite ABs. Let me just look at the bottom with my eyes. I'm not seeing any down there. I'm seeing it start kind of here. So in this pink, kind of flowy this way. Some in the pink here mixed with the purple. And we do have a lot of pink. So we have a, a bunch of the ABs spread out through this entire, entire pink area over here as well. Some in here. And yeah, no more up at the top. So just most of it is kind of in here, here, and then some through there. Is there another one on this? Yeah. 132 is an orange. And I think that would be our last one. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So what number did I say? Three. So I'm seeing it start up here, kind of outlining all in there, down through here a little bit. I do see some over here in this kind of arc here where there's a bit of orange. And then yeah, mixed in here as well. Through here, through here, over here. Everywhere you see orange, there's a little bit. The rest of the canvas, I don't think so. I don't know if I said there is some down here though, kind of to about here and then it stops. I honestly can't wait to see what they look like down on the canvas and, and how how this canvas looks when finished. I'm excited. I don't know when I'm going to get to it. Uh, I tend not to plan too far ahead. I know some people plan their entire year already. Some people plan the first few months and, and um, get canvases that they can work on other events. I'm working on three whips right now and I do have my next kit kind of planned out. My next one that I really wanted to do was a Hannah Lynn one. I can't remember the name of the canvas, but she is um, the lady in the image, has an umbrella and she's standing in the rain and there's cute little ducks in the pond. You guys probably know uh, what painting I'm referring to. I'll pop a picture up here actually. I want to work on that one next kind of for spring and because uh, I've had it since last year and I just didn't get 
get time to do it. I thought it would be a perfect picture for the spring. Lots of bright colors cheer me up and stuff like that. And it's cute. But uh, I will definitely work on this at some point. As I said, lots of areas of color blocking. Look at the entire black here. It's all color blocking. I know some of you will shiver at that. Color blocking, if you don't know what it means, it's an area where there's all of the same color. So you can use your biggest multi-placer you have and just whip away at that section. Confetti is the opposite of color blocking. Here is kind of an example, not the best example, but it will do where you have more color changes in a small area. You might need to use your single placer more often or a smaller multi-placer. I did also want to show you this perforated plastic. So I, I don't know if you can see, there is a line going up here. I have measured these before. So the squares are about four inches by four inches. Around the, the edges of a painting, they might be a bit smaller. It just depends how big the painting is and if, um, you know, four by four uh, is equally divided among the plastic cover. But a majority of the squares are four by four. And they're perforated, so they are kind of cut a little bit. Uh, if you don't want to use the perforations, you don't have to. Like you can see here, you can pull the entire plastic off. It's not tearing easily or anything. Maybe you can see those, yeah, you can see those perforated lines a little bit easier. So if you don't want to follow those perforated lines, you can pull the plastic back like this. The way that I used to, or the way that I'm currently still, because I've actually never, I have not worked on a canvas with this cover yet. So what I do is I put release paper down on a row and I cut the plastic off that specific row, peel it off, put the release papers down and go ahead and diamond paint. Uh, but I'm excited to try this new perforated cover. Somebody gave me a good tip because I did show this cover in the Equinox unboxing I did. Uh, if you're worried about the line not uh, tearing properly or straight, you can use an old credit card or, or something of that nature, even a small ruler, just to uh, as a guide. But what I, I do, or what I did, let me kind of pull this, let me zoom in. Hopefully that focuses. I just start at the corner here and I just start tearing it so that when I lift it up, and I just put my finger down on the other one. You can probably hear that kind of cracking. So I pulled it up to here and it's stopping there automatically. So I know that's where I have to then go the other way. I'm going to start it here just because I don't want to ruin this because I am going to put this back in the box. So here it is. So my little plastic film uh, came off in a nice four by four square. Beautiful. Now, if I don't finish this entire section, I should be able to put this down. So let's test it. That's the way it was. That's good. And let's test the other side for kicks. Look how easy that came off. So it looks like it is double-sided. It doesn't matter which way it goes down. Some plastic covers, it does matter. And if you put it the wrong way, it's gonna be really hard to get off. So uh, keep that in mind when you are diamond painting. But it looks like with our new perforated cover, either way it goes. Now let me put that back. There we go. So what I plan on doing when I do work on my first canvas with a perforated cover is going one square at a time and trying it out, see how I like it. I also, I admire people who can actually like take it. They, they have a desk, right? I don't have a desk to diamond paint on anymore. I've moved to the couch a while ago, but, um, and then they can choose random squares to work on. I would love to do that. And maybe some smaller paintings. And uh, instead of, I usually stop very methodically, start at the top left, moving right, and then down here and just keep going. So I would like to try that maybe on one of the smaller canvases that has the perforated cover. Anyway, let me know what you think of this painting, you guys. Is this one that you're dying to get? Have you posted all over Facebook D-Stash groups looking for it? Let me know. I'm curious. Uh, let me know also why you like it so much. I did post that question in my Facebook group, so you may have already answered it there. But I'm curious why it is is so popular for you guys and what maybe meaning uh, you see in this painting like what you look at it why did your jaw drop why did it become a unicorn or a must-have kit let me know I'm very interested uh, if you did get this in your mystery kit also and you are keeping it if you do work on it relatively soon soon post progress pictures I want to see it because I know I'm not going to get 
to it right away, maybe in the summer, I don't know. Again, I choose my diamond paintings on how I'm feeling and my mood, and sometimes I don't complete them, I wrap them up and go back to them at a later date. So I, my diamond painting is very fluid. So if you are somebody who's gonna kit this up and work on it right away, I would love to see progress photos. Uh, you can post them in my Facebook group, DAC Fans Canada, also the VIP group. I also uh, look there, probably a lot of people do. Uh, usually when I sit down in the evening, waiting for my husband to come home from work, that's when I check out all that went on during the day in those groups. But yes, if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking a chance and subscribing to me. I hope you stick around for a while. If you are new, and this is your first time seeing a video. If you've made it to the end, you'll probably like it here. Uh, so click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified when I do post new videos. And don't forget before you leave, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps a channel grow their content and get their content, you know, reaching more people. So I really appreciate it. And then if you meet any new diamond painters or have any friends or family that may enjoy the content, also share it with them. That really helps creators as well. Otherwise, until the next video, happy diamond painting, friends. See you later. Bye.